I'm going to do an FAQ today. I might ask you guys for some questions and I got a whole bunch on Twitter and Instagram and through email. So let's just get started, shall we? I have them all written down in my book here. We go old school. Okay, it's a little windy. So do I ever get frustrated a project isn't going like envisioned and changed it midstream? Yes. <laughs> If I could have any tool or tools in the world, what would it be? I wouldn't mind my own super collider. But uh, a metal lathe would be fun too. What did I do before woodworking and YouTube? Um, I was involved in software development. There's a lot of YouTube collaborations going on. Do I have anything planned? Well, not exactly, but I do have a maker meetup here in Oregon planned for May 14th in Corvallis. Um, it's a Saturday, it's going to be at 2.30 in the afternoon. If you are anywhere in the general area or if you'd like to travel, you should definitely come by. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll put a link in the description uh, to more information about that as well. May 14th, it's a Saturday. How did I get interested in woodworking? I don't know. I mean, I've always loved to make things build things, create things, and I really like woodworking because it enables you to do so much. It gives you so much control, which I really like. Yeah. Um, what project am I the most proud of? Okay, I, I don't really think like that. I don't really think of projects that I'm the most proud of. Um, I'm get, I get really excited about projects, and I'm usually the most excited about my next project, the one I haven't uh, made yet. So yeah, my future project. How much time do I invest in creating YouTube content versus a traditional 40 hour work week? <laughs> it's actually kind of hard to say because I've never really had a traditional job. I've always run my business in one way or another. But I guess I'm always working. I'm never off, you know, weekends, nights. I'm constantly working one way or another. Um, so there is that. Uh, great influence growing up. Um, well, I always really liked Pippi Longstocking. She was all alone and strong and had money and baked cookies on the floor. I really liked her. Okay, so coolest promotion so far. Not that long ago, I had a team here from YouTube um, and they came all the way from LA and San Francisco and they are doing an interview about me and the channel. And it's actually up on the YouTube Creators uh, channel right now. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, but that was really interesting, first of all, to have a crew here, very different to not be in control of the editing. So what I thought uh, was really interesting is how they're featuring someone from the uh, maker community uh, to the greater uh, YouTube world. Um, so that's really cool. And yeah, me and Matt talked a little bit about what it was like to have them here on the uh, latest podcast as well. So you can listen to that if you want to hear a little bit behind the scenes. Any desire to tackle the medium of steel? Yes. Okay, what is it like to have a dog partner in the shop? Thinking of bringing one to mine. Oh, I love having Darwin in the shop. He's right there relaxing right now. Um, most of the time it's great. He does not like the nail gun or too much banging. But other than that, I really like it. Keeps me company. What are you doing, Darwin? Hey, baby. Hello. When starting a shop, uh, what's the first power tool someone should get? I am of the firm mindset that you should just dive right into it and get a table saw. Um, the reason for that is because it's actually a real tool, it's stationary, you don't move it. And you can do so much more with a table saw than any other tool. So, and it, there's so many projects that come along with that, jigs and uh, various things, and it, it just enables you to do so much more right off the bat. Where do I live and what woods are the most common here? Well, I live in Oregon and there's actually a really big lumber industry here. So it's really great to be a woodworker because you have access to a lot of really good woods. And uh, some of the ones that they grow here is uh, Douglas fir, um, walnut, maple, cedar, and um, you know, there's myrtle wood, which is, uh, you know, only grows in this area. So that's just a couple. I'd like to buy one of your wax polishes. Do you ship to Germany? Um, yes, I ship international. So wherever you live, I can send it to you. Any projects in mind that are uh, too big in scope and that keeps getting pushed off? Well, I would love to get my hand on some land and build a nice workshop. Um, ideally something next to water so I could build myself a boat. That's a pretty big project. Did I find it hard to start in the world of woodworking as a female? No, but I don't work in a traditional sense. I mean, 
I've been running my own business this whole time and I do find that when people run their own business everybody treats you as an equal more or less because you're on the same playing field. Um, so I have not been in a traditional work environment where I was not in control and I can imagine if you were, if you were doing woodworking in that situation, uh, you may have you know, problems or more issues than, but I haven't had any issues. Besides, I make videos where I build things and I show them to people all over the world so that is a little different. Uh, what's your favorite tool right now? Um, <clears throat> well, oh, I have a new a Swedish hook knife that you carve spoons with. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go check it out because uh, it's really nice. Maybe I should even do a video about that because it's so much fun. Favorite social media? Um, well, other than YouTube, definitely Instagram. I really uh, enjoy Instagram. I think it's a really fun format and I, I play around with that quite a bit. How do I get the best wood finish? Do you have any tricks that I've learned with sanding a fine finish. Um, patience. <laughs> um, just take your time and move slowly through the grits. Um, and there's really no magic trick to it, just a lot of patience. Favorite podcast? Um, well, other than our podcast, the uh, Darwin Order podcast, um, I like to listen to podcasts a lot, when working especially. Uh, and I actually wrote a blog post about that a while back uh, with like a whole list of different maker podcasts. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description uh, to that as well. Do I have any cool projects coming up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you seem to use a lot of ePay. Is it my favorite wood or is there another reason? Um, I happened to come across a lot of ePay last year, so I've just kind of been working my way through that. It's not the really hard decking ePay though, it's a slightly softer variety, um, but I just like to use whatever I have on hand and so I happen to have a lot of that, but I'm running out of it now. Pi Zero, have I gotten my hands on one and what do I want to do with it? Okay, yes I have, um, and I do have a couple of ideas, but I'm going to save those for uh, a video. Do I travel often, and what are some of the places I'd love to go? Um, not enough lately, but I would love to go on like a world tour where I meet people from all over the place that watch the videos. Uh, that would be so much fun. Something I like and something I dislike about woodworking. Um, I really like how it enables me to make pretty much anything I want or need, and I really am not a huge fan of sawdust. Also want to really thank you guys, I am just about hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube which is really exciting. It's kind of a nice milestone uh, that I've been working towards. No, someone's impatient. Um, yeah, thank you guys for listening and I'll see you soon.